What's up, family? So, I'm so annoyed. Like, it's so early and I'm already so annoyed. Um, I am actually on my way right now to go get my infusion for my MS. Um, it only took, what, we're in April now, so four months? I was supposed to get- Turn left. My then turn right. Okay. Don't mind my little um GPS talking to y'all. Take the next right onto Normandy Road, then turn left onto Har Avenue. But I'm annoyed. Let's start there. I'm annoyed because I just had to like pull over and spend 10 minutes trying to get my internet and GPS to sync up. Turn right onto Ware Street, then turn right onto Nelson Boulevard. To help me, to give me directions so I know where the heck I'm going. So I had to drive all the way back to the house to sit in the parking lot so that my Wi-Fi could sync on my phone to our house. And then of course- Take the next right onto Nelson Boulevard. Why the hell did y'all have me go all the way this is what happens when you use your phone for GPS and you're recording on your phone at the same time. Can't do two things at once. In 1,000 feet at the traffic circle, continue straight to stay on Nelson Boulevard. I will, girl. But what had me annoyed, well, what took so long for me to get my medicine was my PCM because we have TRICARE Prime. You know, they choose your doctor or primary care physician and you get their nurse. Listen. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Colorado 115 North. All right. My doctor has the most blockhead nurse practitioner working with her ever in life. Like. <laughs> turn right onto Colorado 115 North. Stand. The nurse. Like I'm honestly thinking about changing primary care physicians just so. Continue on Colorado 115 North for six miles. So, these directions are really like all in the way. But I'm thinking about changing doctors just so I don't have to deal with this nurse anymore because she really held up my medicine for four months. Now I have to start over from the beginning since it's been so long since my last infusion. Right now, I have to do it again in like a two part process. So, I'm going today to get half my dose. Then, you wait two weeks and then I come back another time to get the last half of the dose. All because this woman would not believe me when I told her that the infusion clinic said they needed a referral from my primary care physician. All she had to do as the nurse practitioner was fill out the paperwork and give it to the doctor and have the doctor sign it. That is it, that is all. I wasn't asking her to sacrifice no babies, like a gold, none of that. Just some paperwork, put it on the doctor's desk so they can sign it and then send it to the, like you can fax it, carrier pigeon, send it, like email it, whatever. Just send the paperwork. She refused to do that. She would give me every excuse in the book as to why that is not what I needed. And she knew what was supposed to be happening. And it was my neurologist who was supposed to be writing the referral, not my PCM. So then I would call my neurologist. My neurologist would be like, no, it's not us. It's supposed to be your PCM. Then I would call the nurse practitioner back for my PCM. And she would tell me the same thing. So she just kept repeating the process over and over. And after a while, I just had to curse her the fuck out. Like I really did. I was like, it don't cost you a single thing for you to do your job. Like all I'm asking you to do is put the paperwork on the doctor's desk so he can sign it. Like it's getting me hot all over again. Like I legitimately never met the woman a day in my life, but I cursed her to perfection the last time I spoke to her on the phone. So much so that they ended up giving me a case manager. So now I don't have to talk to her at all. Like my insurance company gave me a case manager because I like filed a complaint with the hospital, everything. Like this bitch got me chopped. You're holding, like, you're putting my health at risk all because you feel like you're more important than you are. 
boo boo put these papers on the doctor's desk so that they can do what they need to do and I can get my medicine but after I got my case manager they called up the doctor the doctor signed the paperwork sent it over to the infusion clinic and now everything's good and now I'm getting my medicine like I had an appointment the very next day after I got the case manager like I cursed the woman out then out of the blue a case manager called me and in the very next day I had an appointment like signed sealed delivered Whew, it was such a struggle to get to this point but let me calm myself down we'll start listen to some music because I'm about to get my medicine y'all like uh, I could just feel it in my body like it has been long overdue for me to get this medicine like everything joints are hurting I feel in myself like slowing down like that is the last thing I need is to be in anybody's hospital for one most importantly I'm not trying to go to the hospital but two I don't need any flare-ups like difficulty walking none of that don't need any of that so let me go get this medicine and I'll check in with y'all when we get to the clinic Okay, so we finally got here and my veins are always so difficult, but we finally got the needle in and right now I'm getting my, they give you steroids first. So I'm getting my steroids right now and I already have my Tylenol that comes first. So it's normally Tylenol, steroids, then you get Benadryl and then they give you the Ocrevus. And here we are guys, six hours later. Um, finished getting my infusion and I am starving. Like I didn't eat breakfast before we left the house. And this infusion center leaves a lot to be desired. It's not what I'm used to. So normally at my other infusion center in Jersey, it was like everybody had basically like their own little suite or it was like a cubicle basically they had like the reclining chair in it and you had your own personal television and then they would give you like a menu of stuff that you could order if you were hungry or anything like that this one it is a room inside of the neurologist's office where they just have six reclining chairs so six different people can be getting infused at the same time and one television and um, they had soda, crackers, and that's it. Like, it's definitely not what I'm used to. My other center spoiled me. Like, spoiled. Like, I, I'm a brat at this point because this place is not like the other place at all. But, whatever. Got my medicine. Like y'all, I have never, it was a lot of like older people who were getting infused. So they picked the television show and y'all, I have never watched so much gun smoke in all my life. Goodness gracious. So that was one thing. I honestly can take this off because it's not bleeding. And it's just gonna annoy me that it's not sticking everywhere so bandage is off as you can see got a little teeny tiny hole in my arm where my IV was <sighs> so yeah it takes that's the thing the only downside to Ocrevus is how long it takes to infuse like so long six hours y'all where I went in there normally I go to sleep the time goes by much, much faster if you just take your butt to sleep. So I've been in there so long. I have seen at least four people leave before me. They must be Tysabri users. Good for them because that happens. They have to get reinfused every three months if you get Tysabri. So their infusion only took like an hour and then they were up and out. And then the two older gentlemen who were just in there before I left, I don't know. They were getting something else, so I don't know 
what their medications were, but man, the one constant for the past six hours in that room, as far as patients goes, has been me. So yeah, um, now the question is, what do I want to eat? Part of me wants to go to Charlie's in the PX and get a cheesesteak. But I'm also like, I'm going to pass a Chick-fil-A on my way home and I could just stop there and get some Chick-fil-A. And then another part of me is like, but you're also going to pass a Panda Express and you can just get some Panda Express. So I have no idea what I want. I'm also going to pass a Chipotle. What do I want to eat? Like, honestly, I'm ready to eat everything at this point. I'm so hungry. But let me stop talking and be about it and go find myself some food. So as you guys can see, I decided on Charlie's. They sell like cheese steaks and stuff. So I got a, and here's my lemonade. It's the best part of Charlie's. They do regular lemonade, but they put like a, a simple syrup with like chunks of fruit at the bottom. So I got a strawberry lemonade and it is so good. It was a tie for Chick-fil-A, but then I remembered Charlie's lemonade. All right, so I got fries. You don't get very much. And then I got a chicken cheese steak. What the fuck is this? Oh, yo, that just blew my stuff. I asked for a regular chicken cheese steak with, they put green peppers and mushrooms and onions. That comes standard on a, Charlie's cheesesteak. I don't know what part of Philly he's from where he feels like mushrooms and grilled um, green peppers and shit are a part of a Philly cheesesteak, but I'm not, I don't like that place. But for some reason, the damn cook put tomatoes, I, <sighs> lettuce. This is not a Philly cheesesteak. Like they need to change their name. <sighs> like I did not ask for a cheesesteak sub. I know what a cheesesteak sub is. Like, that's what comes with lettuce and tomato and all this other foolishness. I didn't ask for that. <sighs> oh, yo, that, I just had my mouth all set and ready to bite into a nice chicken cheesesteak. And instead, I get this foolishness. Oh, like, you really got to be... Super specific when you are talking to them. Like, make sure that they understand what you're saying. And it didn't make it any better that the two people cooking didn't speak any damn English. But, oh, yo, that just. Like, I'm still going to eat it since I paid for it. But just to open that up and see lettuce and tomato on a chicken cheesesteak is unacceptable. When I clearly told them, don't put no mushrooms don't put no peppers. Don't put any of your extraness. Just give me grilled onions on my cheesesteak, ketchup and mayo. That is it. That is all. Oh, Lord. Let me eat my food and try to forget about all that stuff. I don't even want it in the camera. I'm take it out of the picture. Oh, that just made me so mad. Hey, guys. So it's Monday. I'm currently on my lunch break at work. And I don't know if it's because like it's my, like the day before I, my weekend, basically. Like, you know, y'all know Mondays are my Fridays. So I don't know if it's just that or it's the fact that it's so dead in here, but I am exhausted. So tired. <laughs> like I'm annoyed. I'm crabby, like I'm liable to snap on somebody. I am so exhausted. Because, okay, this is what was about to have me snap, y'all. This is the second Monday in a row where my supervisors forgot about me. They forgot about my breaks. They forgot about my lunch. Like, last week, it was bad because they just completely... Hold on. Because they just... Last week, it was worse because they just completely completely forgot about me and it was like I had to keep walking up to them like um hello I exist what's going on but today 
it's kind of, it's not as bad as it was last week, but it's kind of, it's teetering in that direction. Oh, Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. Like, oh, my goodness. I really had to go up to them and be like, um, excuse me, what time is my lunch? Like, we going on three hours since my last break, and we're supposed to get a break every two hours. Like, what's what's happening? What's going on? Oh, yeah, let me go check the chart. Yeah, your break is at 4.30. I asked that question, y'all, at 427. So if it's 427 now and I'm asking you when my break is and you're telling me that it's at 430, when was you gonna say something? Hmm? Sweetness, when was you gonna say something? Like I just um Last week, I had to tell them, like, if it's my job to now make my own schedule and make my own breaks, then it's some checks you owe me. Like, because I'm not going to do my job and your job, too, for one check. Absolutely not. If it's my job to be the supervisor, it's some checks you owe me. <sighs> like, I kind of feel like I want to just go in my car for the last 15 minutes of my lunch break and just try to get like a nice, quick little siesta, a nice, quick little nap. <laughs> because I am annoyed. Like, you know, when you were a kid and you would get cranky and crabby and your parents would be like, oh, it's nothing. She just needs a nap. I feel like I need a nap because I'm real cranky right now. What's up, family? So welcome to a mommy's day off vlog already in progress. Um, that wasn't what I intended, but like my camera was acting real rude this morning. And so it's finally letting me record. So um, I just got out of Ross. Uh, I had to like pick up. I really just wanted to look for like some shoes because if I'm keeping it real with y'all, I'm super cheap, like super de duper cheap, 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 like broke if I broke I might as well be the president of the chapter because I always act like I don't got no money so that being said um I feel come to the realization that I need to get like some good quality footwear because I will buy a pair of five dollar sneakers from rainbow and swear I'm killing it in a heartbeat so I figured that Ross and like Burlington Coat Factory would be a good way to ease myself into buying quality footwear. Because y'all know they sell like Adidas and Champions and all that stuff inside of these stores, but you're not paying an astronomical price. So I went in there to get some shoes, but they couldn't help me. They didn't have much nothing. So I did get one pair of shoes. I'll show y'all later. Um, but for the most part, I just got like some stuff for the house, stuff for the bathroom. One bathroom desperately needed a proper trash can. So I got one and then I got like a, a toilet paper holder and rack thing. I'll show y'all. It's cute. I've always wanted one. Um, that's such an adult thing to say. Like I'm excited about a toilet paper rack. That's <sighs> what my life has become. Um, yeah, pair of shoes, trash trash can toilet paper rack um and then i got myself a new mug because that is like my thing i love mugs with nice little sayings on them so i got myself a mug and a pen set that has like all these spiritual affirmations on them or whatever so that's what i got from ross but i'll show y'all when we get back to the house i was gonna go to chipotle but baby that line was ridiculous like as soon as i opened the door I had to say excuse me because someone was standing in front of the door in line. Like it wrapped all the way around. Absolutely not. Um, so, I mean, I still have leftovers at home. So I'm just going to go home and eat that. And what else did I do? Oh, I went into Michael's because y'all, I still never got my placeholders. If you don't follow like my budgeting journey, which I will link that video up here. I had ordered some placeholders to put inside of my cash envelopes to represent the money that I've deposited into the bank in my cash envelope so that way I'm still like 
cognizant and aware of like how much money I have for each category. I ordered the placeholders. Placeholders never came. I thought that they were going to come because the neighbor said that they had got something and put it back in the mailbox, but it's, it's, it's been a while now and I still haven't got them. So I'm just going to like chalk it up. Like I'm just, I'm asked out when it comes to these placeholders. So I got myself some cardstock from Michael's and I'm just going to see if I can go on good old Google and get some free looking printable paper money picture thing and print it out on cardstock and I'll cut it out myself and just call it a day because I, it, it, I don't feel like waiting anymore. So that is what the plan is. That is what we are about to do. And I need to get cleaning supplies. Dang it, I can't go home yet. All right, I'm going to run to, I guess, Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree sells Brillo. All right, so now we're going to go to Dollar Tree so I can get some cleaning supplies. So, chum only. All right, so we're back home now. This is the stuff that I got from Dollar Tree first. Um, I got some colored pencils because I needed them for my new Bible. Um, I'll link that video up here, my Bible unboxing, but needed colored pencils for that. Um, I got highlighters just because, you know, my own personal use, like for highlighting stuff in my Bible, highlighting stuff in my notes, all that stuff. So got some highlighters. And then we needed scrub brushes desperately. And I didn't feel like getting a box of Brillo because I hate that feeling on my hands. So I just got one of Dollar Tree's scouring pads. Um, we'll see how long this lasts. Because I had bought one of those little um, scrub buddies from Dollar Tree. And y'all, that thing disintegrated if they're like three uses. Was not worth it. Um, I did get two of these. One is already in the bathroom. And this one I'm going to take out to my car because honestly, this is the only thing that makes my car smell good. I have like the car air fresheners in my car, but they never work. Like my car doesn't smell like anything with them. So I get this, put it in the cup holder on my door. Car smells good. Uh, we needed some cleanser and I got the glass cleaner that everybody talks about from Dollar Tree that works so well. So got some of that because... Our mirrors definitely need a cleaning. And then moving over here, this is the stuff I got from Ross. So this is my new mug that I got. And as you can see, I've already started using it. It has some tea in it. Um, so it says, my cup overflows with blessings. So this is my new cup. Love it so much. Um, I got a new trash can. And I'm about to go put it in the bathroom, which is why there's a bag in it. Patiently waiting until I film this before I take it in the bathroom. Uh, these are the sneakers that I got from Ross. Just some really cute guest sneakers, $24.99. And they're like so summertime friendly. Like I'm so excited to wear these. Um, and then these are my pins that I got. These are um, one set and they all have like faith-based sayings on them. Um, Love never gives up. Let your light shine. Simply blessed. Walk by faith, trust in the Lord, and believe without seeing. And then the second set I got, these are all just like positive affirmation kind of things. So it's like dream big, you got this, think positive, be positive, like they're just cute. So I got myself some pins because when I finally get my office situation set up, these are going to be key. <laughs> like going to look so good in there. And then this is 
the precious, wonderful toilet paper holder rack thing. So, yes. Okay, so I got, um, this is the cardstock that I got to print the money on to act as my placeholders. And then they were having a 40% off sale on these, like, faux books at Michael's. And I really like them. I've always liked this look. Like, it was originally $14.99, and then it was 40% off. Oops. And I've always liked these books. I've always wanted them. I think they're really nice. And then when you open it, it's like secret storage. I have no idea what I'm going to put in here, but I'm so excited about it. So, that is what I got from Michaels. And I think both of these in total cost me $16. So, yeah, that's what I got from Michaels. I was just really happy a couple minutes ago, guys. Like, I was in a good mood. Spirits were uplifted. Like, I was great. Everything was good. But nobody, I mean, nobody knows how to pull you out your character like your kids. Like, Thomas and Theo were playing outside. As soon as they got back from, when I picked them up from aftercare, they were playing outside. So at 6.30, I said, okay guys, it's going to be time for y'all to come in so y'all can get ready to take your showers, put on your pajamas, we can eat dinner, and you can get ready to go to bed. I thought I was being very reasonable. Very reasonable. I wasn't asking them to do anything that they don't normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. <sighs> But, like, a couple minutes before 6.30 comes, Theo comes in the house like, oh, mommy, can I have some cereal? Sure, if that's what you would like to eat, but I guess you're staying in here because you only have, like, one minute to play outside before it's time for you to come in. You would have thought, I told him that he could never, ever go outside again and that I ate all the cereal because he falls out on the floor and has a full out tantrum, screaming at the top of his lungs about how he didn't get to have any time outside and how I'm... <sighs> Y'all, it was all I could do to hold my composure and not reach out and touch the way I wanted to reach out and touch him in that moment. Because if I would have started, I would have never stopped. Theo has never, since he was a baby, has never thrown a tantrum like he just threw in here. Like I had to take a step back and just watch it for a second because I was shocked and amazed. So I sent him up to his room, told him I don't want to see his face. Until it's time for him to get in the tub. He's still up there screaming, yelling, hollering. Like, listen, they don't seem to understand. I fight kids, okay? I fight kids. Don't got a problem with it. If you feeling froggy, leap, son. Leap, we ain't got nothing but space and opportunity. Ugh. <sighs> So Thomas is now in the shower. Theo is still in his room. He is quiet. Um, yeah, I don't even like I, it just messed up my entire evening. Like everything was fine. Everything was fine. But all because I told him that he couldn't go back outside after he finished his cereal because it would have been time for them to come in. Like, it was almost time for them to come in anyway. And he just flicked the hell out. Like, I don't know who, what got into him. But, oh, my goodness. He wasn't about to like what was about to come out of me. What's up, family?
got my first proper cheesesteak in Colorado in the darn mall food court. So I had a car appointment this morning to get a new key and get my locks fixed. It's a lot of mayonnaise. But they have this like um, shuttle service they offer at the dealership. So if it's in like a 15 mile radius, you just sign up on their little sign up sheet and they'll take you. So the dealership shuttle took me to the mall. Did a little shopping. Got me some lunch before I call him and tell him to come pick me up. I can really imagine how much this car repair is about to cost me. Like, I really just need to get in the car, but I'm enjoying not having a car payment. Alright, finish my lunch. Um, I figured I might as well just call them, have them pick me up. It's hot. So I'm not spending unnecessary money. I got the boys some new sneakers. Oh, I'm glad I wore a sweater because it is freezing. And it's sunny at the same damn time. Like Colorado, please pick a struggle. <sighs> All right, y'all. So I'm tight pissed. I just spent basically my whole day at that dealership for this car. Like I told y'all, I was just supposed to be getting a new key. And then I wanted to know about, you know, my locks. So I wanted to get that fixed too so it can stop making this god awful sound every five minutes, which is so annoying. Y'all hear it? That's the sound. I wanted to stop. But. The guy's like, oh, well, first we would have to do a diagnostic to figure out exactly what the issue is. And the diagnostic in and of itself costs $174. Just for them to look at my car and say what they think is wrong with it, it costs $174. The key costs $170. And then you add in labor and taxes and all that such nonsense. Like there's even a customer service fee. Like, <laughs> Y'all, I have never seen such in all my life. Like a customer service fee though. Um, like God forbid if I even, like I don't even want to know how much it's gonna, it would cost for them to fix my back brake light. Like, oh buddy. So I got, my appointment was at 9.30 this morning. I got there at 9.20. It is now 3.30. And all that was done was I got a new key and spent a lot of unnecessary money. 
And then the part that tripped me out was I'm checking my email while I'm waiting in their little lobby area watching nothing but Bigfoot documentaries on the Discovery Channel. Um, I checked my email. They sent me an email. Like the dealership sends me an email like, oh, this requires your attention immediately. And it's them basically asking for permission to fix my locks. And another little problem that they say they found. But like, I'm right here. Like, I'm right here. Why can't you just call me? Like, not call me, but come into the lobby, which is literally like down the hall from where y'all are right now. Why can't y'all just come in the room and tell me what the issue is? Why are y'all sending me an email? Like, what if I didn't check my email? <laughs> What if I was deeply invested in the Sasquatch documentary that I did not check my email to answer y'all little question that y'all say was so important and needed immediate attention? So at that point, it was already 2.30 when I checked my email and saw that they needed my permission and I was like I had to what the hell what were you beeping at because I am most definitely in my lane and going faster than you fuck is you doing in the hell Father, forgive me for my language. I don't have time for people. Like, if you're in a rush, ma'am, you should have left sooner. It's not my problem. But anywho... I declined the other than like actually fixing the locks today because it was 2.30 and I didn't have time. Like God only knows how long that would have taken because they were already moving mighty slow just to make this new key and tell me what the problem was with my car. Like again, I was there since 9.30 and I'm just leaving. Okay. So... They gave me like the quote for how much it'll cost to fix my lock so that this noise can stop. And it's like $427 or something like that. So. I don't know. I have 30 days that they will honor that price for the part and the labor and such. And then they were talking about they would give me like um, like a free hour of labor. Oh my gosh, that noise. They would add a free hour of labor to fix it or whatever. So that was my day. Like, But I'm so mad that I really wasted my entire day sitting in a lobby learning about Sasquatch. I could have been doing so many other things today. I had plans to do so many other things today, but instead I was just sitting, sitting for them to really not do much. Oh.